Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. And I just... I really got to thank you for uh, the welcome you just gave us just now, because I, I need it. I kind of... I need a little something to hold me together, because I'm still reeling from the loss of Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> just, I think... I think I'm reeling. I think I'm reeling. reeling. This is yeah. reeling, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's that's, that's all of that is available on my exercise tape. <laughs> But let's get serious for a moment. Um, I'd like to stop right now and just welcome any orphan Bill O'Reilly viewers <laughs> to our show tonight. Welcome. I know this is a confusing time for you. You've been through a lot. Not as much as women who've worked for Bill, but still a whole, <laughs> a whole lot. And uh, I just, it's hard to believe. Whole lot, whole I really, lot. I'm just like slapping myself, you know? It's hard to believe yeah. he's leaving. I mm. mean, as the sign outside Fox News building says, nobody moves this man. <laughs> nobody. Except for the janitor who scraped him down this morning. <laughs> now... <laughs> now, Bill's broadcasting career may have hit a bit of a hiccup and then exploded in a hail of blood and bone, but... <laughs> Remember, Bill still has his books. Mm -hmm. uh, he still has his rage. Mm -hmm. And uh, his Fox News payout worth a reported $25 million. <laughs> that is, wow. if you do the math, that loop. is twice as much as they paid his accusers. Oh, my God, you know what that means? Mm. Bill O'Reilly sexually harassed himself. <laughs> Guess somebody's got to touch it. Now... What? Oh, no, I didn't mean... No! So, what's Bill O'Reilly gonna do now? For a little hint, I decided to turn to his 1998 novel, Those Who Trespass, okay? <laughs> Which, I noticed, and this is true, is dedicated to the women in his life. <laughs> or, as they're affectionately known, the plaintiffs. <laughs> now, the main character, and again, we're not making this up. He actually wrote this book, and uh, the main character of this, it's a novel, okay? And the main character is a brash TV journalist named Shannon Michaels, who was fired from his network news job. And in this actual section, O'Reilly explains how he handles it. Quote, his career was the source of his feelings of omnipotence and grandiosity. His TV job gave him daily ego gratification and excitement. It reinforced his opinion that he was a very special human being. He got the attention he craved, the admiration of thousands. Being on TV was like a drug to him, and when it was taken away from him, he had to find a substitute drug, planning and carrying out the executions of those people who had humiliated him. Cat's gotta watch <laughs> Bill? <laughs> Buddy? <laughs> Hello, handsome. <laughs> I just want to point out, I never humiliated you, okay? <laughs> I know for like 10 years I did that, you know, show on Comedy Central. I know the character was named Stephen Colbert, but I didn't play him. Okay, I think Steve Carell did. Yeah, it's I think Carell, Carell did. It's Carell. He's it was so Carell. good. It's Carell. Oscar long overdue for Carell on that one. Great, great guy. Oh, great he actor. used to laugh at you all the time. <laughs> run, Steve, run. <laughs> of course, uh, Bill may not be the most dangerous man in the world right now because uh, Kim Jong Un might be dragging us into thermonuclear conflict. And faced with the possible annihilation of all living things, yesterday, 
President Trump met in the Oval Office with the Joint Chiefs, the head of the CIA, the National Security Advisor, and the Secretary of State. I'm just kidding. He... <laughs> no. None of those people. He... <laughs> He met with Sarah Palin, Kid Rock, and Ted Nugent. <laughs> yes. Given the solemnity of the occasion, it is appropriate that the Nuge is wearing his formal camo hunting hat. <laughs> After that picture, Nugent hunted Reince Priebus with a crossbow. <laughs> they also stopped by the official portrait of Hillary Clinton, where Nugent gave a sarcastic thumbs up Sarah Palin did the old point and sneer, and you know something's weird when Kid Rock is the dignified one in the picture. 